Einstein was convinced that there is one big picture, one way of looking at things, which actually makes sense of our world, but it has different elements, okay? So he is, as you will all know, a, a wonderful scientist, um, probably the best known scientist of the 20th century, and he deserves that accolade. And in many ways, he's someone who has worked hard to help us understand how science functions. But as many of you will know, Einstein was also very interested in ethics and very interested in religion. So let me give you a quote, if I may, from a lecture he gave talking about the relationship of science, religion, and ethics. Here we go. This is Einstein from a lecture of 1939. Science, he writes, cannot create ends and even less instill them in human beings. At most, it can supply the means by which to attain certain ends. And the point he's trying to make here is that science is great and it may help us inform our ethical thinking, but it doesn't give us the answers. Again, here's another quote from that same lecture. The scientific method can teach us nothing beyond how facts are related to and conditioned by each other. The knowledge of what is does not open the door directly to the knowledge of what should be. One may have the clearest and most complete knowledge of what is and yet not be able to deduce from that what should be the goal of our human aspirations. So what Einstein is saying is that basically when he comes to his politics, and his ethics, science might help a little bit, but really he's using a different method. Now, many of you will know that Einstein was a very committed socialist and in effect got his socialist values, not from science, but in effect from reflecting on what it meant to be a human being, especially with the situation of the 1930s in Nazi Germany. As many of you will know, Einstein was German and in effect had to leave Germany because he was Jewish. Uh, in uh, 1929, uh, sorry, 1933, and settled in the United States. So here's my point. Einstein was absolutely convinced you can be a scientist, he was, and you can be a socialist, he was, and saw these, in effect, as being two aspects of his life, two bits of this bigger picture, if you like. So think about this. Is a scientist allowed to be a socialist, or we don't like socialism, is a scientist allowed to be a political liberal or a political conservative? I think the answer has to be yes, because science doesn't lay down, this is the way you've got to be politically or ethically. And then we move on to the whole area of religion. This to me is really interesting. Einstein took the view that religion really is important. He, was, uh, he had his own view of what religion was. It, um, he did not believe in a personal God, he believed in a God who was the mind behind this universe. And science could help you kind of way know something about this God. And it was um, really a fundamental motivation for doing science. But he didn't really like his own Jew Jewish religion very much or Christianity or anything actually. But he liked this idea of there being something deeply religious about the way the world was. And again, that was part of the way he was. And Einstein, for example, talks about um, uh, his idea of what God is like, he, he listened to this, I believe in Spinoza's God, who reveals himself in the orderly of harmony of what exists, or again, I believe, in a, I have a firm belief in a superior mind that reveals itself in the world of experience. And Einstein saw that as being important as well. And in effect, he was saying this is part of the picture. It, in effect, gives us a motivation for studying religion, studying uh, science, because it kind of way opens up these deeper questions. And for Einstein, that was really interesting and important. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.